Okay, this is all the stuff that I used to build this smoke detector. This right here is a heater that I had that went bad in my house. So I took it apart and I got the nichrome wire out of it. As you can see, it's quite a bit of wire. You can get this wire out of little uh, portable heaters or like uh, air con uh, hair dryers, I'm sorry. Also, you'll need a, a lamp wick, which I got at Walmart. Then as you can see, I ramp, wrap the wire around the wick. And this wick is actually in the center part of the smoke detector. And the wire is actually bolted with nuts on the inside of each side there. And the way it works is, I'll show you how it's hooked up, but this will be on the outside. Pardon me if it's a little rocky. The way it works is this is full up the baby oil to about right here. This wick sets in the bottom, it absorbs oil, and then when you hook up your positive and negative leads on these terminals, the wire heats up and it starts to smoke. Pretty simple concept. There's a place I go to online, it's a nichrome wire calculator. I think it's jacobsonline.biz. If you'll go there, there's a there's a calculator in there that will help you figure any type of wire size or anything to, that deals with nichrome. This thing consists of a toilet base. This is all PVC pipe, three inch P PVC pipe. I put the uh, nichrome wire and everything in the in the coupler. I drilled holes with drills, mounted the bolts through. Put nuts on the inside, each side. And then this is another piece of three inch PVC pipe. And this is just like a clean out drain up here. And this is the actually the lid that screws on it. And then I put these nipples on. On one nipple, I have this pressure gauge. You don't wanna do more than one pound of pressure if you're testing the EVAP system. Two pounds pressure probably tops if you're smoking a motor looking for vacuum leaks. This needle here work, works really great. The main thing is you will have to have this regulator here. This is a propane regulator I got off eBay. It was roughly, I can't remember now, I want to say I think it was 17 bucks, but it might have been 12. It's adjustable right here. This will do zero to 10 PSI. I can regulate 120 pounds of air pressure down to one pound of pressure coming at the top up here. But I hooked the gauge here so I can regulate, see what my pressure is regulated at. And this is where my, uh, I hook my hose to, which my hose is a uh, three eighths by quarter inch hose. I have a little nipple on the end of it. And I just hook it into to like your brake booster hose or something like that. And it does the smoke thing. Uh, my other video shows how well it smokes and all that. But the main thing, you, this cap screws out. And then you can uh, see down in there, there's baby oil. And you can see the wick down in there, which is kind of, it gets black. But it works fine. That, that's what creates the smoke. Uh... You go online at jacobsonline.biz. I just typed in, uh, do a Google, Google search on Nichrome calculator. It should pretty much take you to the place you need to be. And there's a formula in there you plug. There's four variables. You plug in three and it gives you the one you want to know. This, this one right here, I'm getting about two and a half ohms between these terminals. I'm running it on 12 volts with the 20 gauge nichrome wire and it puts out roughly about 600 degrees which makes decent smoke. I uh, hope this helps you out. 
everything that you need. I mean, it may you'll need to get some glue to glue. This has to all be glued together, or it'll smoke will come out everywhere while you're using it, and that's not really all that great. But all in all, it, it, it's really nice. Make sure you get a nice regulator, one that's adjustable, because you really need it. But uh, yeah, this is like some of the pipe I use. You can see it's just three inch PVC pipe. This is actually the non-pressure version and, and it's worked fine for me. Uh, probably have about 70 bucks tied up in building this thing, but it does work awesome. It finds the leaks. Hopefully uh, this will help you out. Here in just a second, I'll try to post a picture of the jacobsonline.biz place and uh, hopefully this will help you build one. Good luck and any comments, feel free. I also wanted to show it actually working in this video. This is my regulator right here. At the top, this first mark here, that's actually one pound. As you can see, I turn it in. You can see it come up to about one pound. Seems to be, uh, has pressure. Now we're going to come over here. And we'll see if it smokes like it should. There it is, it's smoking good. Say, uh, well, what can I say? I mean, this is a handy little tool for finding vacuum leaks and uh, evaporator leaks. If you'll come over here, you really need the regulator. See, it's holding about one pound of pit. Put my finger on and off of it. It smokes good. Any questions, comments, feel free to put them in there and I'll try to answer your questions. Okay, this is the Nichrome wire applicator ac application I was telling you about. As you can see right here, you put in any three deals, you just move the sliders and it will calculate the alternatives for you. This is about what mine is. Mine's running on 20 gauge wire, which I have about 2.5 ohms total resistance right here. So that's telling me my rolled up wire is about 46 inches long and all that. I'm running on 12 volts, it's 20 gauge. So it'll make 540 degrees. Say, uh, you wanted to uh, run on more or less wire, it's, it's 46 inches. If I was to do less wire, see now it's saying it would be at 2200 degrees at 11.25 inches at 12 volts. But you have to look, the amperage would be really high. It gives you amperage and everything. This, this calculator will give you everything you need to know. And I'm going to move up here so you can see the... Uh, actual web that you would type in to get there. If you'll just do a Google search uh, Nichrome calculator or jacobsonline.biz it should get you to where you need to be. I'm also going to post a uh, little video right after this that shows my wick and everything smoking without it being in the machine. And after all that, I hope that will help anybody who wants to build one of these build it. If not, uh, post a question or something, and I'll try to answer it. Hope this helps, and thank you very much.